Good evening and welcome in. I decided to come on and do an update here this late evening because XRP is up 5.18% and it seems to be running opposite of Bitcoin here as of late. Yesterday, Bitcoin was railing and XRP was down a couple percent. The day before, XRP had an explosion and Bitcoin was just dropping. So it appears that in some small way, during this rally up, XRP has been decoupled from Bitcoin, not in the sense that one's going up and one isn't, but it's doing it on opposite days. So that's definitely a significant uh, development here as of late. But right now we've got XRP up 5.08%, and we're going to look at the resistance in the area right now and see what we need to do to continue the rally. We've been speculating on the push up to 60 cents, and we'll see what happens once we get there. The reason for that speculation is the rising channel resistance is right there that we had fallen out of the rising channel. We came down better than roughly 30% before we started a falling channel formation, then ended up bouncing off of the cup and handle support. And now we've gotten back up to 56.4 cents. So I'm gonna show you a real compelling case here of what you need to look at for the resistance support. I'll show you in kind of a fan setup. Um, but let me do the intro real quickly. So please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube does recommend this update. It's very, very important today. Very, very important for, for everybody to see this update. It'll allow us to be part of the recommendations. And that just simply means when you go onto YouTube and the news feed, my content will show up. So make sure to hit that like button. If you're looking to trade XRP, look in the video description below and our pinned comments. Even other cryptos, USA or abroad, got BitUnix, lowest spot in leverage trading fees in the USA. Many other cryptos on there. If you want to copy trade me, you can also look in the video description below and our pinned comments for Hotcoin. You click on the link, and then uh, once you do click on it and sign up, you go to the copy trade and go to XRP Future MIL in the search bar and follow me. We'll go over the statistics here later on in this update, but I want to get through this in a very transparent way. So make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you on the other side of this short intro. Good evening. 11.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, July 15th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I was saddened because I wasn't able to do the live today because we just got a little bit busy with my son, and uh, everything's good, but sometimes, you know, it just goes that way. But I'm glad I was able to do this update here this late evening as I felt like it was imperative. So XRP, as we can see, is on, it's surging. It's continuing this rally, continues the momentum. We've come past a critical resistance that was a triple. Uh, we had hit it three times. So it could have been a triple top if we didn't push through, but we're looking like we're pushing through that 56.5. Major resistance up here at 60.3 cents. But if we look at the fan setting, we'll just look at it in this regard. These are the, the support resistance that had been formed Earlier today when we had when I was doing the update, we speculated that we had started a new support whoops, a new structure here where we had hit one, two, three different times. Actually it ended up being four times. And then it ended up bouncing off of what was this right here? Fifty-two point two cents. Right now, our big resistance right now, we've got fifty-eight whoops. Sometimes it's finicky because I've got the price tag. So I would like to move this up just a little bit. We've got about 58.4 cents and then you've got that very critical 60 cent resistance. And that is your um, rising channel resistance. That's the rising channel resistance and that's, that's where we're working our way up to. So if we take this out and it's gonna look weird because of how I have the fan set up, but it was for the short term consolidation that we were experiencing. Um, we were in this falling channel that promptly broke down of a rising channel, but it's kind of crazy because we're in a cup and handle as well. So when we bounce back up, and let's bring this into the shorter time frame, when we bounce back up, we hit down here on the right or the falling channel, close for a, almost a fourth hit. Then we came back up, and this is the cup and handle support right here at about forty-two point four cents, and then we started a series of uptrends here, series of uptrends. And it's very confusing if you're just watching, but there's a reason why I did this. We'll be able to clear this out in just the short term, but this is going to be important going forward until we either break out of this region 
or we have to come back down to support and then we'll at least know the areas very quickly. So it's just something that I instilled maybe going forward here as well, but I really do like this because in real time we can track these resistance. So right now 58.4 cents and then 60 cents over the top. We get over 60, it's about 60.3 cents if we actually look at the all time pattern because we need to get past this downtrending resistance and this takes us back to 2018 when we hit the downtrending resistance the first time. And this has still been intact since 2018. So this is uh, roughly a six year downtrend, six and a half years now. But it's a resistance that hasn't budged. But if we could get above here, and we've got a little bit of steam here. If we could break above this 60 and a half cents, we could be off to the races. And the technical target out of here first level because the cup and handle we would have to surge past but you have about a dollar 14 but in time you should get back up to a dollar 98 and retest that area technically this could surge us up to that dollar 58 area just by busting through here and gaining that momentum so i'm going to release this update make sure you pay attention to what i'm saying here in this um i don't want to take too long here but this short update it's been about six minutes already so we're meeting our quota here we've got this definite resistance here and this will make it much easier to see what's going on we can't really do anything until we break past and the 60 cents is great but we also have to look at the expansion zone that we're gonna have to confirm these pushes up so we'd have to get on top of 63 cents six and that would be a big area but we got a couple resistance ahead make sure you pay attention to the fan system and I do get asked a lot about our challenge. So we started with a $100 challenge here on our copy trading. And like I said, if you do want to copy trade with me, you go to the copy trade section and then you do a search at the top and type in, uh, here, let's do it together. Type in XRP future. And you can see right here, XRP future MIL, 6.43% PNL. Um, I don't know if you click on it. Uh, we were, have a $100 challenge right now. We're up $32.76. So we're up 32.76% on our $100 challenge so far. So if you'd like to join us in this challenge, and there's been 13 trades, 7 wins, 6 losses, but cumulatively we're up $32.76, or 6.43% is our total P&L, which doesn't even make sense. But, well, I mean, it makes sense. It's just we're doing it from the $100 perspective. So we're up 32.76% on our $100. So pretty good start here so far as a group. And if you'd like to join that, you can always join me on Hotcoin. And uh, that's in the video description below and our pinned comments. It'll be available on BitUnix here later this month. But XRP surging right now. So pay attention to the levels I just talked about. And I'm going to release this update. And if you would, consider joining Tom's Army, especially when XRP surging. Um, I'd love to see more members in Tom's Army sporting that emoji badge of me being abducted by aliens in month one. Or consider sending a YouTube super chat for the time I put in. I love each and every one of you. Have a blessed evening and I'll see you in the morning.